What's up guys? Welcome back to Basin Motorsports. So today we're over working on the El Camino and so far I will tell you the El Camino build is off to a really rocky start. Let me show you why. So I showed you before with the El Camino in uh, pieces and everything there. So we, we, my brother-in-law and I came over a few days ago and started looking around, basically laying everything out to make sure we had everything here. So you can see behind what we have is a lot of the trim pieces, uh, seats are out, everything else really kind of getting an idea on it. And what we've come to realize is that, well, a lot of this, a lot of this car is actually missing. Um, this car started 20 years ago. It's been moved to three different houses, stored in a garage warehouse kind of in Portland, and it's been sitting here for the last two years, basically, in boxes. So, what Nikki, my wife behind, is looking for is supposedly the magic boxes we couldn't find. They're supposedly here, and uh, I don't know. We're, uh, we're struggling at this point trying to find these uh, pieces that are missing. So really what you see is basically everything's, a lot of the incrementals are here. So you got taillights, bumper, trim, all that stuff. The problem is there are no fasteners. There's a, supposedly a box of fasteners that has gone missing. No carburetor. We just found the distributor. You've got seats, glass, everything else, but no fasteners. On the interior, what you see is we're going to start with roughly a shell. We have all the wiring that goes to it. The original, we're going to clean up and use. Obviously, I had a mouse somewhere a long way enjoying the seats, but everything else is clean. So really, the thing we're going to struggle with is fasteners. So the plan with the El Camino is that, well, we're just going to have to, I've got a catalog from our original parts group coming. And what we're just going to have to do is literally go through and buy almost every fastener for the stuff. We're just going to put stuff on, um, whatever I can buy fasteners for, we're going to buy and basically get them over here, put everything on and then uh, just work our way through it. Kind of like, you know, you put something on, you realize you don't need it or you need something, you mark it on a list and we're going to buy it and uh, get it shipped up. Thankfully, they're on the West Coast, so shipping is only going to be a few days maybe for everything. But the hard part is that we're just going to have to... Uh, you know, basically take it piece by piece and get fasteners and clips and everything else and build this car as fast as we can. And I, I really question if we can get done by April 1st now because this was supposed to be everything here and we're clearly not in that condition. So at this point, I think we've uh, established that we are not going to find any more parts for this El Camino. So at this point, we have got at least a started list together. This thing is going to be awesome when it's done, but unfortunately we've got to do, uh, we've got to order a lot of parts for this thing. We've literally now looked for everywhere while I've got the paint suit on and everything else is that there was a trailer that's kind of, kind of, uh, it, it's a biohazard. I'll just say that it's, it's pretty bad. So we looked through there, didn't find anything, uh, found some blue, blue shop rags and some jack stands we'll at least bring in here. But for now... El Camino is at a uh, standstill. We've got parts coming in the next week, and it's probably going to be order on Sunday what you need, get it by the weekend, and then the next weekend you put it all in and repeat the cycle until this thing is ready to go. So that's it for this time, guys. Unfortunately, the El Camino is not where we thought. It's not uh, some assembly required. It's basically all assembly is required. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hang out. We'll get some uh, stuff going, and then uh, we'll get the El Camino together soon. See you next time.